Hey guys, it's Miss B. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't be here today. I had to um, attend an all-day meeting. So um, today we're going to be working in our packet. So I'm just going to do a video lesson. Um, I'll go through what you need to do. Uh, today's lesson is pretty easy, so you guys shouldn't have any trouble following along. What we'll do is just, you know, let um, your sub know if you need the video to stop or pause or anything like that as you are taking these notes down and then you guys are going to complete um, in your packet page 23 and 24 okay and that'll be your classwork so anything that you don't finish from that will be homework for tomorrow the homework that was due today I will also check tomorrow okay so we'll check both of those all right, so let's start with the do now. I'm going to give you guys, um, maybe we can pause the video here. This should be on the top, at a, top of page 19. So go ahead and freeze the video here. I want you guys to see what you remember from yesterday. Okay, so let's go over the answers to these. Let's see how we did. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to convert um, the degrees into radians. And then in number two, we're going to convert the um, radians into degrees. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to either multiply by pi over 180 or we're going to multiply 180 over pi. It just depends on if we want the pi to stay or do we want the pi to go. Okay, and in number one, we're converting to radians, so we want the pi to stay. So we're going to be using this guy for this one. All right, so we're going to take the 250 degrees and we're going to multiply by pi over 180. That's going to give me... 250 pi over 180. Now what I'm going to do is see if that simplifies. Okay, so 250 over 180. I'm going to hit my math, enter, enter. And that's going to simplify to 25 eighteenths. So 25 pi over 18. So that's what that is in radians. Okay, same thing with the negative, right? It's just, that just means I'm going the other direction, right? That just means I'm going clockwise. So I get negative 110 pi over 180. We're going to go ahead and simplify that. Math, enter, enter. Negative 11 eighteenths. Or 11 pi over 18. Okay, so that means we would rotate that one clockwise around a clock instead of counterclockwise. Okay, so number two, we're going to just go the other way. So we're going to convert, I'm giving you radians, and you're going to convert into degrees. So I always remember this because now I want the pi to go away, right? I want this to be in degrees, I want the pi to go away. So we're going to say, okay, well, times 180 over pi. Oops, sorry. Should be over pi. Okay, so when I multiply this across, right, you see the pi's are going to cancel away, and I'm going to end up with 11 times 180 over 6. So 11 times 180 over 6. 330 degrees. That's almost one full rotation, right? 360 would be one full rotation, so that's probably going to land me in quadrant 4. Okay, same thing on this one. I'm going to go times 180 over pi. The pi's are going to go. I'm going to have negative 7 times 180 over 5. And we get negative 252 degrees. Again, all that means is, oops, degrees. All that means is we're going to rotate um, counterclockwise around the clock. Okay, so that should be your warm-up. Um, the homework, I'm just going to flip through these pages right now because we'll talk about these tomorrow when I'm here. Okay, so we're still here on page 19, and we're about halfway down on where it says coterminal angles. Okay, so this word, this root, co, right, means like partners, right? If you're co-captains of something, right, it means you're, you and somebody else are captains together, you're partners. And terminal, right, terminal means end. So we're going to be talking today about something called coterminal angles, which are angles in standard positions where their degrees end up being the same thing. Like they're all going to be either multiples of 360 or multiples of 2 pi in radians. Okay, so we're going to say um, angles in standard position.
where the where the degree measures differ by 360 degrees or 2 pi if it's in radians. Okay, so go ahead and if you need to pause for a second, you can write that down. But basically what that means is, right, let's say I'm at, you know, a 60 degree angle or something like that, right? Here's 60 degrees. And I know that I've got this angle that's 60 degrees and it's lovely, isn't it? It's a beautiful little angle. Well, I could have another angle that has the same ending um, ray here if I spun it all the way around and then to 60 more degrees. So I would get it by saying 360 and 60. So it would be like going around 420 degrees, right? These two, the 60 degree angle and this new angle that I just found, would have the same what we call terminal side. So they would end up in the same place. So basically any multiple of three, um, 360 degrees or if it's in radians, you would add on 2 pi. So here's the example um, that you're given. It looks like they started you off with a 30 degree angle, right? And then it looks like one time they added on, we had a 30 degree angle. And it looks like, if you see the one that I'm on right here, it looks like we went all the way around. So that's adding on 360 and the 30, right? So if I add 360 to the 30, this angle right here ends up being 390 degrees. I could also figure out the negative angle by just doing reverse, right? If I go around this way instead, I would just be subtracting off, right? Because I'd be starting at the 30, I would subtract around. Sorry. So negative 330 degrees would be another co-terminal angle um, that would end me at the same spot. Okay, so pretty quickly, these are easy to answer in this next question. It says, determine if each pair is coterminal. So basically, I just want to know, are they multiples of each other, right? Is it a multiple of 360? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first number, the smaller number in this case, which is the 120, and I'm going to say, well, what if I add a spin, right? What if I add 360 degrees to that? right? And I'm going to get 0, 8, 480 degrees. Well, is that that one? Yes, it is. So this, these guys are coterminal, right? Because even though they kind of start at different places or they look like they'd be different, they're a multiple of 360. It's like adding on a full spin. So what about B? This one I'm starting at negative 60, but if I add 360 to it and spin it all the way around once, I'm at 300 degrees. So once again, this, this works. Okay, one last example. This time I'm starting with a positive one and I'm going to a negative one. You see how the number is decreasing, the, the, the angle is decreasing. So instead of adding on 360, that's not going to get me in the right direction. Let's subtract it. Let's instead subtract a circle. But if I do that, I get negative 160 degrees and that is not the same thing. Okay, so these guys are not coterminal. So they just basically have to be a multiple, if, if it's in degrees, that you're adding on um, 360 degrees. Okay, feel free to pause if you need another minute here. Okay, at the top of page 20, okay, um, here's, it's basically an example that's done for you. It looks like they started you off with a 55 degree angle right? And it says find a positive and a negative angle that's coterminal. So all we're going to do is add 360 and we're going to subtract 360. And that's the easiest way to find where these angles would fall. If I add on 360, I end up with 415 degrees. And if I subtract 360, I ended up with that negative 305 degrees. Okay, but that's the easiest way to figure it out. If I ask you for one positive and one negative, you basically have to just keep either adding on multiples of 360 or subtracting away multiples of 360. And you might come across a case where you have to do it more than once. You know, if you start with such a large degree, you might have to spin, you might have to, you know, subtract off 360 a few times. Okay, top of page 21. 
Let's take a look at what happens if I give this to you in radians, right? Which means we're talking about pi's, right? There's pi's in these problems instead of degrees. Okay, but we know that one spin, right? One spin around is 2 pi, right? One spin all the way around is 2 pi. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding and subtracting 2 pi, right? Same exact thing. So let's take a look at the problem that we were given. We were starting with pi over 3. And basically what we need to do is either add or subtract 2 pi. Because once again, we want a positive angle and a negative angle. The problem is I cannot add these as they are because the 2 pi is not with a denominator of 3. So we just need to modify this one a little bit. Let's put it over 1 and let's change it so it does have the same denominator. That means I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 3. So hopefully everybody's in agreement that this is the same thing as 6 pi over 3, right? That's still 2 pi. But the writing it in this form, now I can add it and subtract it from 3 pi. I'm sorry, from pi over 3. So we're going to say pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3. And that's going to give me 7 pi over 3. So there's the positive angle. It also said I needed a negative angle. So I have pi over 3. I'm going to subtract off one spin, which is 6 pi over 3. And 1 pi minus uh, 6 pi is negative 5 pi over 3. So here are my two angles, one positive, one negative, um, in radian mode. Okay, I'm going to flip. Okay, um, so here's an example. State if the angles are coterminal. Okay, so I want to know if these are going to end up at the same spot. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to either add or subtract onto 2 pi. Now, the problem is I'm starting with a positive and I'm going to a negative. So that means I must be subtracting away, right? I'm going to be subtracting away. So let's think about the denominators here for a second. Do you see how both of these are denominators of 4? Okay, well, we need to make that 2 pi into something with a 4 on the bottom. So that means I'm going to multiply the top and bottom both by 4, right? I mean, let's make it so we can easily, you know, add and subtract by making these like denominators, right? So is everybody in agreement? 8 pi over 4 is the same thing as 2 pi. But writing it in this way, I can now easily add it and subtract it from 3 pi over 4. So let's take our 3 pi over 4. That was what we were given. And I'm going to add 8 pi. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. We need to go down, don't we? We need to go to the, we want to see if it's the same thing as that negative. I don't need the clock. Okay, we want to subtract um, 8 pi over 4. And let's see, do we get the 5 pi over 4, negative 5 pi over 4? It looks like we do. So since we got that, my answer would be yes. Here is, sorry, my microphone's going crazy. Here is one more example. Um, we're going to see this one is in degrees, right? I can tell it's in degrees because there's definitely no pi or anything like that. Um, and as again, once again, we're getting from a big number to a positive number, a uh, big number to a small number. So I'm going to take 240 degrees and we'll subtract away 360 degrees. And when I do that, I get negative 120 degrees, which is not the same thing here, right? So these guys, we would say, are not coterminal. Okay, page um, 22. Here's a couple more practice problems. Um, find a coterminal angle between 0 and 360. So basically, I want it to be a positive degree measure or between 0 and 2 pi if it's radians. So let's take a look at number 1. You see, I'm starting off negative. If I want my answer to be somewhere between 0 and 360, I need to go up, don't I? I'm going to add 360. And you can do this on your calculator. Negative 340 and 360 would leave me with a 20 degree angle. Right? So I'm taking negative 340, spinning it 360 degrees. I would be at a 20 degree angle. All right, 580. Okay, the problem with that one is it's too big, right? It's bigger than 360. So we know that we've gone already around one whole time. So on this one, we want to subtract away 360. So our answer, because it says it has to be between 0 and 360, that would leave me with 220 degrees. 
Okay, three and four are in radians. Okay, so we're going to be either adding or subtracting two pi or some form of, you know, some alternate form of two pi. So let me think about two pi for a second. And this time it looks like I want my denominator to be a 4. So if I multiply the top and bottom by 4, instead of saying 2 pi, it looks like we're going to be using 8 pi over 4. It'll just make it easier because now I can add and subtract from 8 pi, 18 pi over 4. All right, I want my answer to be somewhere between 0 and 2 pi. So it looks like we're definitely going to have to subtract on this one. 18 pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4. That leaves me with 10 pi over 4. And actually, this is, I need, it looks like I need to do this again, right? Do you guys see? Because this is bigger than 2, right? If I do 10 divided by 4, it's going to be like 2.5 or something. So I'm going to keep going. I need to take away another, I need to subtract away another rotation. And that leaves me with 2 pi over 4, or you could simplify that to pi over 2. Either one of those is fine for now. Okay. Okay. Um, next example. Okay. This one, look, it's negative. So we want to be adding, right? We want to be adding so I get somewhere into 2 pi, right? I want to be adding on a 2 pi. I want to add on a spin. But the problem is 2 pi, right, does not have a denominator of 3. So if I multiply top and bottom by 3, I get 6 pi over 3. Okay. So we're going to take a negative 11 pi over 3, add 6 pi over 3. Okay, let's see. That's going to give me negative 5 pi over 3. But am I between 0 and 2 pi? It looks like I am not, right? So it looks like we're going to have to add again. Let's add on another spin, another 6 pi over 3, and we're going to get 1 pi over 3. So here it is. It looks like a, to get there, though, to get finally between 0 and 2 pi, it looks like I had to add on two spins around the circle. Okay, I'm going to turn the page, so feel free to pause or anything like that. Okay, all right, for this last, um, these last couple examples, okay, it says find one positive and one negative. Okay, so one positive and one negative that are coterminal. Okay, so you can see some of them are in degrees, some of them are in radians. Okay, so for 70, okay, we're going to add 360, and we're going to take 70 degrees, and we're going to subtract 360 degrees, right? That's going to give me a positive coterminal and a negative coterminal. So this one, you can just add it up on your calculator. You get 430 degrees, and then negative 290. Okay, number two. All right, I know I need to use 2 pi. I'm going to either add or subtract 2 pi. Um, the problem is on this one, it's not in the same denominator. So let's make this over 1, multiply top and bottom by 5. So let's make this 10 pi over 5, right? Same thing as 2 pi, but now it's just going to be a lot easier to add and subtract. So let's start with negative 2 pi over 5 and add 10 pi over 5. And that looks like that gives me... 8 pi over 5, and then I'm going to take my negative 2 pi over 5, and I'm going to subtract a spin, and that gives me negative 12 pi over 5. So I got one positive, and I got one negative. Okay, negative 300. Okay, so this is degrees, so I'm definitely going to have to add on 360 to make it Oops, sorry, I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to add it on. And that'll give me 60 degrees. So there's my positive one. To get a negative one, looks like I'm going to have to subtract 360 more. And there's my negative. Okay, last one. And then you guys can try a couple of these on your own. Okay, this time we're going to add and subtract 2 pi. But again, I need the denominator of 4. So hopefully by now you guys are like, oh, boom, 8 pi over 4. All right, so let's take 3 pi over 4 and add 8 pi over 4. That gives me 11 pi over 4. That's positive. And then I'm going to take my 3 pi over 4 
and I'm going to subtract 8 pi over 4. And that leaves me with negative 5 pi over 4. Okay, so you guys are going to complete um, page 23 and page 24 in your packet. Okay, whatever you do not finish in class will be homework. Okay, um, one thing to keep in mind on this page is um, remember that 1 pi, right, is it's considered one rotation. So if it's talking about a half clockwise rotation, okay, I'm just going to give you a little hint on this one. Because remember, this is 1 pi. So that's considered, from here to here is like considered a rotation. Okay, so if I go half the way clockwise, oops, sorry, that would be down here, wouldn't it? Right, I'm going to end up down here. So that's where you would finish. Okay, so just keep that in mind for this top section. All right, do a good job. Make sure that you guys have good questions for me tomorrow, but give this a try. Um, feel free to replay it or go back and see what other questions you guys have. Okay, see you later.